Welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to sketch a coffee mug using Design Modeler of Answers Workbench. We will start by going to Geometry on the left hand side corner. You can see here there is Geometry option. Double click on it. Next, I'll right click on Geometry. New Design Modeler Geometry. I'll change the units to millimeter. XY plane is what I'm going to choose at the start for making my initial sketch. First, we will draw the structure of the coffee mug. So we will go to sketching, choose line. I'll first draw a horizontal line. Then I'll use arc by three points. And I'll mark three points here. Next, I'll go to line again. And draw a vertical line. Also, I'll draw a central line and leave it. This will be used for the revolve option which I'm going to use for drawing the coffee mug. Now I'll go to dimensions and give dimensions to these three. Say H1 is 27. R2 is 2.5. And Z3 is 75. Okay, this shape doesn't look that good, so I'll just delete this and also I'll delete this one. I'll go to three point arc again and just give it a better shape. Now I'll give dimension to this as 2.5. So this basic outline is done. Next, I'll go to revolve option. For geometry, I will choose these three shapes that I have created by pressing the control button. Apply and axis is this 2D edge that is already selected. Merge topology, I'm going to choose yes. And now I'll just click on generate. So you can see here, this is done. Now, I will change this option as thin slash surface to yes, because I can't see a thickness to this cup. So I'll give this invert thickness as say 2.5 mm and generate. So you can see this thickness has been generated. So the outer surface of the coffee mug is done. Now I'll make a handle for this coffee mug. So first I will go to XY plane. And I will create a new sketch here. Sketch 2. I'll go to sketching option. And here I'm going to draw the sketch of the coffee mug handle. So I will choose Eclipse as the shape. This is the center point, one point here and the other point here. I will give some dimensions to this. This is 28. Say I choose this as 32. Also, I will give horizontal distance between this line and this point. Say it is 8 mm. I'll go to draw and I will choose a particular option here. This is something I'm using for the first time. Construction point and intersection. 
at this point i am going to make a point at this intersection so i'll just choose these two surfaces whose intersection has to be a point if you use construction point option and choose a point it's okay but it's very difficult to figure out the point so directly this last option is the best to use in these kind of situations now what am i going to do with this is i'm going to go to dimension and i'm going to give this distance this has to be a vertical distance so i'll just choose these two points See, I give this value as eight. So now you can see this is the coffee mug handle. If you want, you can make this as thirty-one. Okay, so this just gets a bit more enlarged. So this you can make as say twenty-nine also. Okay, so it's just that this is going to become more round in shape. So it depends on what kind of shape you want. So I leave it to thirty mm. That's a round figure, and this is going to look good for the coffee mug. So that's one shape that I have created. I'll just go back and I'll rename this. This is the path sketch that I have made. Next, we are going to make a profile. So for that. I am going to create a new plane. Now you can see this revolve option has just got unhighlighted. So just click on generate, and it will be done. There is nothing wrong with it. So I will now go to new plane. For that, I will choose Y Z plane and create a new plane. So you can see here this option is from plane Y Z. So from this plane Y Z, I am going to choose a point where I am going to draw another profile, and I am going to use the sweep option to make the handle of the coffee mug. So I'll first go for transform one. I will choose offset X. Now offset X is going to be in the vertical direction because you can see here it is offsetting from the X direction, so it will be vertical. Now if you observe carefully, I need that point. Where I created the construction point, so it was 8 mm from the top, and this total height is 75 plus 2.5, which is a curvature, which makes it to 77.5. And when you subtract 8 from it, it will be 69.5. So it will be exactly that point which I created. Also, we need the point outside and not inside. So we are going to transform along the Z axis, and this distance will be exactly on the surface of the coffee mug. So this will be twenty-seven, which is the inner value of the line plus this curvature. So this makes it to twenty-nine point five. So you can see I got the point here, right here. Just generate this, so you get this point. These options are not required. So now you have created plane four. You can just go and check by clicking on Look at. Now here I want to create a new sketch, so I will just go to New Sketch here, Sketch Three, Sketching. Now whatever cross section you want for the handle, you can choose. I want to use ellipse, so I will draw an ellipse here. So this is one dimension. And this is the other dimension. Now we are going to give dimensions from here. So from the center point, I want to choose this dimension. And from the center point, I want to give a vertical dimension. So I will just choose from here to here. These are the two dimensions I want to give. So say this is three, and this is six. So this makes for a good cross section. So this is done. I will just rename this. as profile sketch so i have two sketches now i just click on xy and look at 
So you can see here exactly at this point I have created the sketch. You can just check same point. Now we are going to use the sweep option. So for that, this is the profile, profile sketch. The path sketch is here. I am going to add material. I leave this to path tangent. Merge topology. Yes. So that's all. And generate. So you can see a beautiful coffee mug handle here. Now you can see that additional material has been created inside. So for that, what I will do is I am going to select this edge. I'll go to extrude, apply. I'm not going to add, I'm going to cut material from here, normal. Okay, so it requires a direction. So just select on the central line and it is not upward, it is downward. So just click on the arrow here. So it will delete the material downwards. Also, this depth is 75 mm. So I'll give approximately 70 mm. So this is applying downwards just click on apply here so it is selected this is 70 mm merge topology yes this is also required and just generate this inner section gets cleared so this looks like a good coffee mark now we will just give some fillets here so i click on to blend fixed radius i want to apply on this geometry apply say i want to give this as 2.5 mm generate so you can see here this has been created if you want you can change this to 3 mm and check how it looks so this looks good now i want to apply one more fillet go to blend fix radius Now this will be 1.25 mm approximately. I will be selecting this geometry. Control this surface and this surface. Apply. Generate. So that completes the entire coffee mug now. You can see here this is a beautiful shape which has been created for a coffee mug. So that's how you create the geometry in design modeler itself in case you do not have solidworks or any other modeling tool so you don't have to worry about it you can create the geometry in the design modeler of ANSYS there is also something called as space claim so if you are well versed with Creo or even if you have some idea of some modeling software like solidworks or Creo you can still use design modeler and space claim and make these geometries so this was a requested video because I have already done an analysis of heat transfer through a coffee mug. You can go and check that analysis as well. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to model a coffee mug. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.